Later's channel. Um, this video is dedicated to uh, explaining an add-on called Move Any. Um, basically, with the release of Dragonflight, um, the UI on the retail version has changed so that it's no longer the original UI that we had. However, parts of it are unmovable and do not scale. So, um, I will be including the author's name in the comments and where to get the add-on. This add-on is pretty dedicated um, to giving you the best UI possible. The author is very uh, proactive and he will actually talk to you on Discord. So, please take a look at it. Well, the first thing I'm going to show you is the UI. The current UI looks like this. And you'll see you have your griffins on the side, you have the three bars, you have one bar on the side, and I'm on a hunter, so you actually have a pet bar. You'll notice the bags and the micro buttons here. You'll notice one thing about the micro buttons that's really important. They have no color, so it makes it really difficult. Right now, you cannot see the chat window because uh, I have my Regulators Raid banner covering it, but the chat window hasn't changed. It's the same. However, the minimap has changed a great deal, and the quest log is still is basically the same. So, the first thing we got to do is uh, look to see where everything's at. And as you can see, um, basically don't have anything. This is basically how it looks like out of the box or when you install it. Um, if you hit modern, this is how it should look like. There's also a classic preset where you have your targeting up there. But for now, I'm going to go for modern. I don't particularly like this look. Um, I like converting it to my own. However, um, the point of this uh, video, again, is about move any, not about the built-in unit frames. So, we're going to do that by itself. You can see I have all my add-ons installed and actually they're turned off right now. So I'm just going to turn on move any as soon as I find it. Now move any gives you a icon on the minimap. It looks like a little person, a blue person. You click on it and it will give you a grid. It also give you locations of where you want your items to go. Since I've already built my move any uh, profile before, it already chose where it's going to put stuff. But however, I'm going to go over it as quickly as I can. First thing you'll notice is the bags. Now that uh, move any is on, the bags now have moved from the point where they were to a new point. You can actually make them bigger or smaller depending on what your, your choice is. Mm -hmm. So right there is the 1.0 side. And then you can also space them out differently. Let's see if I can figure out which one it is for spacing out. It's at one right now. It didn't change anything, so there has to be a spacing out option. I'm not sure which one it is. In any case, that's the scale for the bags. Let's do the scale for the bars. This should work differently. Uh, ok, 
Okay, hold on. There's the spacing. You can flip them. Supposedly you can flip it, but I don't see it doing anything. You can make it two rows. One row horizontally, vertically. In the end, you can change the way it looks. As you can see, the vehicle seat indicator, which is a two-person vehicle, is in is movable. So you don't have it. Normally, it's around here or around here. Now you can move it wherever you want. I put it down at the bottom. This is the durability doll. You can move that as well. This is the LG, uh, LFG eyeball. You, normally it would be around here in the new UI. Um, what I do is I move it up thanks to this add-on. I can actually move it. The zone text tells you about the zone. Widget top center tells you the status of BGs and dungeons. Um, so if you have, let's say, a kill objective in one of these um, events, it'll show up over here. Or an arena, it'll show up over here. Uh, widget below the minimap. This item was actually below here, but I moved it because I wanted more space. And this item will actually show up during a raid when you're looking at the bars of the bars of health on the um, uh, uh, the bars of health or energy on on different uh, items for example uh, when you're fighting let me see if I can get her name When you're fighting a lady in Nerva, Dark Vein, um, her, con her containers will actually start uh, getting higher and higher, and it will give you a set of um, measurements of each container, and that will be what you'll see there in this area. This is the alert frame for bonus loot and achievements. So it will no longer be on top of your buttons down here. Spell activation overlay. I believe that is the indicators whenever you have a, an ability that comes up. Let's say, you know, a bonus ability or something that if you hit the bonnet button, you'll get more energy. Power bar. This is normally the power bar and vigor bar. This is for, for dragon flying. I made it small. Normally it's huge. It's almost as big as this. I just scaled it. Um, zone ability is actually, uh, let's say if you go into an area and it gives you a button, that's where it will show up. The battlefield friends notifications, this is actually the notifications that you get from, from uh, whenever your friend gets online or a guildy gets online. This is the, the actual raid manager. That uh, whenever you have you're in a raid and you want to put up flags or anything like that, they'll, it'll open up and you can actually put it there. You can actually move that around so it's no longer on top of, let's say, what are, whatever other add-ons you have there. It gives you a little bit more space. That's the general breakdown of the 
new areas or the new things that will let you move around. He, he included an FPS meter. He also put an area for the XP bar because those are things that uh, you could not move in the regular edit frames. The add-on itself, as you'll notice, has three different sections. The top section tells you about the add-on itself. It tells you how it works. So show minimap button, move frame with shift and left click drag, scale frame with shift and right click drag, reset frame with shift and mouse click wheel. All right? It lets you set the grid size so that your grid can be like regular paper a grid that you would use for putting uh, coordinates or it can be even smaller so it makes it easier for you to get things aligned as you can see nothing is aligned yet because this is a brand new character um, that I haven't really worked on um, if you put a check mark in here it will actually turn on the ability to move the player frame, the target frame, the focus frame, buffs, debuffs, tooltip, pet bar, stance bar, possess bar, leave vehicle bar button, extra abilities, casting bar, talking head dialogue, chat frames. Everything that's in the chat frame is basically movable, okay? And there are different sections of it. Then there's the minimap, all right? Party frame and boss frames. That section is the watch out section. That's the be careful because you might get error section. That's why he actually says that there. Okay? Uh, you don't want to taint your game by using it, but if you ha if you really want to be able to scale your mini map or anything else, this is how you do it. You turn it on and you're able to scale your mini map. Do a reload. Now you see the minimap is here, and it has a a, a border around it. And you can actually scale it now. You make it bigger, or you can make it even smaller. All right. Hopefully you won't get errors with it. Okay. Now if you turn it off, all of those customizations that you just did will disappear, and it'll go back to normal. So that's how you you deal with this profile, okay, that you're creating for yourself. You can save the profile and call it whatever you want. Well, apparently you can't save it. Oh, hold on. I'm doing it the wrong way. Add profile. So that's the test one profile. Sorry about that. Um, this is actually a search bar, so it lets you search for any of the things that you'd like to do. So these, this is the profiles. You can add a profile, get a profile. You can share a profile. And this is the current test test one profile. So you can do a share on it, you can remove it, you can rename it. Again, the author is very active, he's proactive, he, he gives you his Discord, so you can jump into his Discord if you want to. Okay? You see, when I made test one, the profile that I'm currently using, none of the steps are actually saved, nothing is actually done. Let's go back to the default profile. It goes back. Again, it's a great add-on. It lets you do a lot of things that you normally wouldn't be able to do. Now I can go in and I can actually show you how to move things around. Um, 
on the bars and everything uh, here but I already have a tutorial uh, on how to configure the UI if you need to need to see that um, just look for how to's on my YouTube channel uh, or on my Twitch channel and you'll see it there alright um, if you have any questions about this add-on again the author is available almost all the time um, and it's pretty easy to use it's self-explanatory a lot of sections are self-explanatory um, however I know that it's kinda tricky if you're not detail oriented so if you do have a question I suggest going to the author's website and asking him to do something thank you very much for listening I'm sorry that it's not uh, the most exciting thing in the world but uh, hopefully this will give you an idea of how to use the move any add-on right have a nice day God bless